Welcome everyone! Efficiently managing data is key to ensuring accurate insights and streamline data flow. Today, I walk you through the ins and outs of importing and exporting data with Excel in Dynamics 365, paving the way for seamless business operations. Let's dive in! First, let's talk about exporting data. You can use Advanced Find for this. Exporting data to the Excel via Advanced Find. Open Advanced Settings. Utilize the Advanced Find feature to search for the view to download the specific records based on your criteria. Once the desired records appear, click on Export to Excel to generate an Excel file with the search results. Via the apps interface on the view screen. In Dynamics 65, either use existing views or create new views to display the data you want. You can see how to create views in another video. Alternatively, simply open an existing view. To do this, click on the table you wish to export, which can be found in the left vertical menu within any Microsoft Dynamics app. In the view, click on Ellipsis and select Export to Excel to export the visible records to the Excel file. Now, let's move to importing. Begin with preparing your data. Importing data using Excel templates. Prepare your data in Excel. Open Excel and create a spreadsheet with your data. Confirm that your data in format supported by Dynamics 65. Common formats include Excel, CSV and XML. Ensure the data is accurate and adheres to the required format. For instance, you shouldn't have more than one row in the header, Avoid merge codes and ensure all essential data is added to the first list. If you have downloaded a template or exported it from Dynamics 65, you don't need to worry about these two previous items. Open Imports. Navigate to Advanced Settings. Proceed to Settings drop-down, then press Data Management, then Import Data. Download a data template, optional. Click on Excel Templates and then follow Create an Excel Template. Select the table in which you wish to import data. Additionally, select a view to manage the column set. Prepare the corresponding view so that this column set closely matches to the Excel file you plan to import. Click on Download Template. This action will download an Excel file with predefined columns that align with fields on the chosen entity. Optionally, you can press Excel templates and upload recently downloaded template to save it and reuse in future. Fill in the Excel template, optional. Now, if you haven't downloaded data from the Dynamics 65 to update it and you want to proceed the file from another system or from your colleague or client, you should adapt it to the standard system template at first. Open the downloaded Excel template. Copy your data from the original Excel file and pass it to the corresponding columns in the template. Ensure that data types and formats are consistent within the template. Important! Do not delete or rename the first row or the initial three columns in the Excel template. They are essential. Save the Excel template containing your data. You upload this file during the import process. If you are not working with an Excel template, ensure your file has a proper formatting. Ensure your data conform to the format and structure of the target entity in Dynamics 65. Upload and map the Excel template. Important note. Firstly, you should import records from the tables that are used in lookup fields. That is logical. That firstly, we need to import entities that we will need to refer in the next iterations. If you are importing just one table, ignore this note. Return to the Import Data Wizard in Dynamics 65. Click on Import Data and then choose File and select your previously populated Excel template file. The mapping process will be automatic. If you haven't created any Excel template or you are not using exported file right now, you can select the Tiger table and establish data mapping during this import process. Review the mapping to ensure that columns align to the corresponding fields in Dynamics 65 accurately. Validate the data to identify any potential errors or discrepancies. Decide if you allow duplicates. 
select the owner of imported records and then press Submit. Monitor the process. Keep an eye on the import job in progress with the Dynamics Management area. You can do that in Import View. There is an information that displays the amount of imported records and failures. You can refresh the subgrid to see process in the real time. After the input is completed, the status will change. You can open the record and see more details. Also, you can check information about errors. Congratulations! If there are no errors, the import is completed. If there are, follow instructions in the error details and try once again. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, mastering data import and export is crucial for leveraging the full potential of Dynamics 65. With proper preparation and understanding, you will be set for the success. See you next time! If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned. We would love to hear your experience in the comments. Additionally, you can find a lot of exciting information on our blog. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our consultants. We are always here to help.